so yeah hi guys my name is abhijit and in this video i'm going to tell you some five project that you can make as a college student and these project will increase your productivity and increase your skill and also if you add these project in your resume a lot of companies will run to you and before starting to the video i would like to tell you that these are the project that you shouldn't make because some of the project are quite outdated and if you create these kind of project in your resume and add it to your resume a lot of companies will say like okay these are very basic project you shouldn't make this project and some of the common example of these projects are banking management system library management system and some e-commerce application these are very very common application and these are very common you can say project that you shouldn't make in 2024 because what companies look at you resume that you have you must have created some project because it's 2024 and a lot of com competition has gained and a lot of competition has increased and if you create these kind of project a lot of companies don't uh, say that okay this is not a good project and this is candidate is not very serious about this job because he hasn't work on some really cool projects so creating some good project will not only help you to gain job will help you to gain skills will help you to gain a lot of things in your career because projects are very very common thing if you create some really cool project it will increase your skill it will increase your productivity it will gain you how you to how to create an application it will also gain you to get some freelance work because if your project worked at least you got the confidence and you can create some really really cool freelancing project as well so the first project is a kind of a recommendation system so how you can make this project let me tell you so let's say uh, as you know like there are multiple e-commerce website right now there are like amazon there is flipkart there is snapdeal and there are alibaba there is misho and there are a lot of other the uh, e-commerce application okay so what you can do you can create a web app there will be a input box where a person will search okay i want to find this project and what you can do is you can write a web scraper that will go on these multiple website it uh, one web scraper will go on amazon one scraper will go on flipkart next one will go on alibaba next one will on meesho and a lot of web scrapers you will write the project was you can say let's say there is a product of uh, hanky let's say there is a hanky you want to search and you, that scraper will go on multiple website and fetch what's the price on the on those website let's say on flipkart the hanky cost 50 rupees on amazon it cost 60 rupees on meesho it cost 25 rupees and on alibaba it cost 10 rupees so what you are going to say is you are going to write you you are going to pull the images you going to pull the you can say cotton or all the quantity of material the prices all and all the other the stuff that are related to that specific product and you will show the show, show to the user so now user can understand okay i uh, if i go on flipkart i will save the uh, save this kind of a money this much of a money if i go on amazon i will get the qual quality if i go on meesho i will save a lot of money so this this is a kind of a project that you can make and this is just not limited to e-commerce application like flipkart amazon and these uh, these website that i have told you you can make a web scraper similar to swiggy zomato also let's say i want to order a chicken biryani uh, at my location and one scraper will go on swiggy and next scraper will go on zomato so what you can do is you can fetch the prices from those these two websites and then show it to the user okay uh, for on zomato chicken biryani will cost you 100 rupees and on zomato it will cost of 120 rupees so that then user can decide which one to uh, choose like which platform to choose other than that you can monetize also let's say you want to monetize it because let's say <clears throat> this website is very very good and a lot of people are saving money so what you can do is you can add a credit system where uh, let's say on on purchase of 10 rupees on a price of 10 rupees you get just give 100 credit on price of 50 rupees you get 500 credits and that credit can be used to search a specific term and uh, also what you can do is you can fetch the reviews other than related to all this stuff and same website can be applied to a medicine also let's say uh, there are like multiple medicine uh, shops or uh, online e-commerce application related to medicine like 1mg so what you can do is you can specifically search for the input box you can add an input box where a user can search for the medicine then you can go you, then your scraper will go on multiple medicine website 
but it's an e-commerce website where they will fetch the prices on all the stuff so this is a really really cool project that you can make and a lot of people will get benefit from it because if you deploy it a lot of people will start using because they are saving the money they are uh, they are able to decide which platform to use where we can get the cheaper amount where we can get the cheaper product and where also the quality and quantity of all those stuff you can manage so this is one of the best project that you can make it involves web application it involves, involves web scraper uh, writing it involves a lot of uh, you can say uh, front end back end tasks as well so this is one of the greatest project that you can make so now comes the second project that you can make second project is all about notification so notification as you know all these uh, let's say uh, you want to create a uh, notification for the medicine you have to take medicine at 2 p.m. then uh, 5 p.m. then 10 p.m. anytime okay so your application will accept the authentication system first you will add an authentication system then you will add a custom message then you will ask for the timing what are the timing that you need the notification let's say you want to uh, send a notification at 10 a.m. 5 p.m. 6 a.m. any notification you can, you can add and there can be you can add multiple notification at the same time as well so let's say you want to take medicine and you have added a notification in your application now uh, notification text you can add it anywhere there will be just an input box then you will ask for the timings what are the timing you need the notification then you just you will just throw it now when the time comes you just throw the notification hey abhijit did you take it the have you taken the medicine hey abhijit uh, have you taken the water anything that is related to this thumb hey abhijit you must have you should have called to this person at 10 am this is these are the kind of a notification that you can make and these involves pwa if you if you are creating a web application then there is a pwa pwa means progressive web app that you can use other than that if you are creating an app that is based on flutter or that is based on android or that is specifically on uh, operating system for mac you have swift and for the uh, android you have java kotlin that that you can use for flutter if you are if you are going to like create a cross platform app that you, you can use flutter or uh, react native as well but if you are using a web application then you can definitely use pwa so this is one of the best application and also you will learn how you can create scheduling how you can uh, add how you can handle multiple users how you can handle an authentication system and for notification what you are going to use because there are multiple tools uh, i think there is a firebase where you can send a notification so there are multiple things that you can use to send push notification and that is also a very good project and a lot of people will use it because if they know because i personally have to un like uh, create alarm okay i have to take this i have to do this i have to do this so instead of if i get the application which has a very very clean ui if it works very fine then i'm gonna definitely use it so it's a very good app that you can use it's a notification and also you can use some ai or machine learning as well to send the custom notification you can understand the user behavior and you can start suggesting something okay these are the things that you can make in your application so this is one of the next application that you should make in 2024 as a web developer it's very very awesome so now let's start with the third application that you should make in 2024 so have you heard about marketplace marketplace is a place where you where people can buy stuff where people can post their stuff so it's a kind of a marketplace where people can sell, uh, sell and buy product so have you ever heard about olx so there is no competition about olx there are multiple e-commerce application but there is no competition like olx and what olx does, it does it it's like ask for the ad and it's post then user can search it then user can uh, chat with it and there are a lot there are a lot of scenarios included so what you can do is you can create a olx kind of marketplace where user can post the ad user can purchase the item user can chat with the next person and they can uh, they can talk they can like they can ask whether you want to sell at this price they, they can like uh, ask anything also you can use some machine learning and uh, ai also to suggest some content nearby location you can use us practical indexing to search about coordinate because if i'm in if if i'm in delhi i don't want to see the you can say result from bangalore i don't want to see the, see the result from mumbai so what you can do is you can use the geos practical indexing for to fetching the geo locations apart from that there there is a lot of back end task involved there is are a lot of front end task involved so you can gather some multiple people which can work on same the project because this is a kind of a very big project you, you have to handle a lot of stuff also you can use some machine learning to pay post something because if someone is posting some wrong images you can block him 
if you if someone is using some offensive words then you can block him so there are multiple scenarios in involved that you can use it also this is also one of the best project and instead of creating an e-commerce application i will suggest to create a marketplace like olx because a lot of people want to use uh you want to see a kind of a olx secondary option because for e-commerce we have multiple option we have amazon flipkart but for olx there is no alternative so what you can do is maybe your startup idea can work also so you can create these kind of project this is also a next level project so now comes a fourth project that is also very interesting have you heard about sarkari result this is a website where people can see about what are the government jobs available so what you can do is you can for software engineer there is no such website where you can get all the jobs okay these are the jobs that are available there are like multiple you can say things like linkedin jobs there's insta hire there's world found but there's no specific thing where you can uh, manage your you can say you can track your job application you can put the resume you can download the resume there is no such application so what you can do is you can create a e you can create a application where people can see all the listing where you will list the order all the job okay for microsoft sd1 is hiring for the flipkart sd2 is hiring for the amazon uh, machine learning engineer we wanted and they are like they can be like multiple companies which are hiring for these 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 roles okay and apart from that you can add a layer of job tracking system let's say you have applied for amazon but after a few months after a few days you don't remember where i have applied i don't i don't have any idea so what you can do is you can add a job tracking layer so let's say you apply for xyz company you track it and you can send a notification also you have to take a follow up from the company you have to take the follow up from the hr so these are the website that you can make and this is also a very complicated website so you need multiple people because here back end is also involved front end is also involved and and both of the day, both of the layers are very very complicated so this is a project that you can make as a software developer so now comes the fifth project that is also interesting have you ever thought that how many people are preparing for software engineering role over the world there can be like multiple lakhs of people that are preparing for job for job as a software engineer so what you can do is you can create a kind of omegle i hope you heard about omegle so what omegle does you can chat one to one you can chat it you can take interview so you can create a application where you where people can interview data specifically to uh, software engineering so let's say you want to prepare for software engineering role you want to prepare for the microsoft okay so what you can do is you can add i want to prepare for microsoft these are the topics involved like dsa web web application android anything you can add it then that application will connect to the person and in the entire world let's say uh, next person will also also want to take the interview for microsoft for these specific uh, role so what you can do is you can connect those person okay face them now on the video chat they can ask the question so they can prepare for it okay these are the things that are asked also they can prepare for mock interviews so this is a kind of application you will create so this involves also a lot of stuff because here you have to make a system where people can do video call audio call at the same time also they can chat it also you can add a layering of white bullet say i am taking an interview i want to explain something so i can draw something okay i can ask the question i can send something some document also so these are the thing that you can make and this is also a next level project and this takes a lot of effort also so you have to gather some people which can work on these project and also you have to use a lot of uh, you can say api for uh, uh, let's say video chat there is a thing called web rtc that you can use also for chatting you can you have to use web socket for real time that then you you have to use web sockets as well so these are the thing that you have to include in your project so these are the project that you should make in 2024 and these are the project that will help you to land a very very awesome job in 2024 So this is it for the video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And also, what you can do is you can comment in the comment section that which project you want to make, so that you so that you can get some uh, advice. If you want need some advice, then definitely your comment section are open. You can ask the advice. So this is it for the video. Meet you in the next video. Goodbye and thank you.